All right, this is KD2GIY. Uh, I'm gonna show you my uh, military communication shelter. This is an S250G, uh, which is, it's designed for soldiers uh, to provide comms for the, for the war zone uh, and uh, everything like that. So I'll show you, we got some vents here, so uh, we get some air in there. This used to be uh, for a, uh, an air conditioner, but I took the air conditioner out and uh, put some storage. It's, it's usually on the back of a Humvee or dropped from a helicopter in the war zone, but it's on a, tra it's on a military uh, trailer that was modified. And uh, th this mask came on it. I, it. It's about 35 feet. It goes up about 35 feet. And uh, I think this, this unit came out of uh, somewhere in New Jersey with um, the National Guard. I, I was kind of read something about that. And uh, this used to be a data board, took the data board out, put a screen in here. I still use the barrel connectors from uh, what, what they used to use. You got some more barrel connectors right here, some HF GPS ports. And uh, I modified this area to put my hose in for my heater, a shore power, so I can uh, run off a of shore power. and. Uh, this port right here is for uh, solar. And that's a, G that's a common antenna, that's a GP6 common antenna, works very well. Uh, this is a Jeep antenna. Uh, this goes on one of those uh, Vietnam era Jeeps. Uh, I use that for the uh, CB band or uh, 10 meters, depending on what I'm, uh, what I'm working with. And I know you probably can't see it, but this coax that's BNC goes up to an antenna that's up there. Uh, you probably can't see it, and it's a, it's a dipole antenna that terminates to the ground. That's uh, the RF 1944 antenna. So, all right, we're gonna show you inside. Now let me show you what we got going on. So I got the, the, the FT710, the AESS with the little speaker. This I use for uh, HF and six meters, and this is the two meter 440 APRS uh, capable radio, so I could do messaging off the grid. I got a CB radio up here in case I want to, you know, use that band, and I power everything. I don't know if you could see underneath here. This is a, a Valencia uh, or Valence uh, lithium battery. It's a 138 amp hour uh, battery that's made to go in an EV, and. This is a BioNO charge controller. I got that from them. I got this panel set up, so this runs the fan, this runs uh, one, uh, a light in back of me, and this runs a heater for the battery if it's too cold in here, which I usually never am. And this is, a, this is the heater I use. And yes, I do have everything very well insulated. This is the Olympian Wave 3 and works very well. Actually, it works a little too well. It was like uh, burning up in here last night, even though it was about 35 degrees outside. Yeah. My bed's right here. You know, it's a platform. This slides forward, and the bed folds up on the wall and put it right behind the, the American flag. And always make sure to have American flag. That's right. <laughs> I, I put these first aid boxes here so I can have uh, storage. Right now I just got some paper towels. And uh, that's it, you gotta have some snacks. Got a table, my cooler's right here. It's like a Yeti, uh, Yeti style cooler, one of those. And uh, got my bins, I, got ev I pretty much have everything I need. You know, obviously there's no bathroom in here, but you know, I do well. And when I'm not using the battery, I have a 12 volt power supply right here from r Electronics, just uh, so I can run the radios off of uh, shore power if I have it, or a generator. Yeah. Nice shelter, I love this thing. Yeah, it's, it's real cool. That's my garbage pail. That's my yeah. tactical garbage pail. It's explosive. <laughs> That's right. So let me see if I can make a contact out of this uh, park here. Park to park. Yeah, let me have the park to park. Okay, this is Kilo Delta Two Golf India Yankee. Uh, we got you five nine in my park, Jenny Jump State Forest, US four nine nine five. Roger. Four nine nine five. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're uh, good signal. You're five 
You got it, 7 3. And that's that. And that was all off this dipole here. Yep. I, I did 75 watts. We're off the completely off the grid. 75 watts out of this beautiful, beautiful radio. And uh, just made a quick uh, park to park contact to show you, uh, show you how it's done. And uh, that's it. You know, you make a couple of contacts. It's not always about. Uh, you know, park to park or contests or this and that. There's sometimes where there's people in need, like look at the people down in uh, the southern states. If I lived down there, I would park myself in maybe one of the municipality areas mm -hmm. and provide a uh, comm so people could communicate or at least uh, uh, do WinLink and I could send HF email with no uh, no service, no nothing. Basically, with my ham radio and my uh, my computer, no internet, no cell service. I could send uh, emails to family members, letting people know that other family members are doing good, and stay uh, basically un indefinitely if I had my solar set up. And uh, that's what it's about. So it's about ninety nine percent having having a good time, fun, making contacts, talking to people, going on eighty meters at night and rag chewing. We call it rag chewing. Uh, everybody having a conversation. That's 99% of the time, but there's always that 1% that uh, people really need help. And that's one thing about the ham radio community is they're willing to help anybody. We're willing to help, we're willing to teach, we're willing to provide assistance. That's what we do, and that's ham radio.